As Google is doing a great job as a search engine, it's also doing a great job at visualizing data via Google Spreadsheets. It's a web-based application that allows you to create spreadsheets and share your data online. It's similar to Excel Sheet and comma-separated values. For any map, only two columns you will need. A column for the country or region name, and the other for the value in numbers. Country name can be written in both, abbreviation or a full name. In both cases, Google Spreadsheet will deal with. Google will mentor you when you pick a chart that does not fit with your data and tell you why it doesn't work. First, after classifying your data into spreadsheets, start with selecting data by remarking it. Then, click Insert Chart. From the list of charts, you will select the convenient chart that fits your data. Then, click Customize. You start with putting a title for your graph. Determine the position of your legend in the chart that needs one. After that, title your axis, then adjust colors. This step is related to whether you save the chart or publish it. You can choose saving it as a static image or publishing it as interactive image so you will publish it by adding an embedded code. Now let's apply what we have tackled in the previous points and design a map chart by using Google Spreadsheets. We are going to select data, for example data related to the GDP worldwide. You will find this kind of data in the World Bank official site. In your spreadsheet, you select Open, then import your data. Then you select your file, the one with CSV extension. Then you select data by remarking it. Now, it's the time to select your map. You will find two types of maps, the heat map and the bubble map. To display the distribution of your data, you can do this through customizing colors. First, if you pick green, for example, to show the GDP rates in each country. We can choose the dark green for the countries with the largest GDP, the light green for the countries with the smallest GDP. Also, we can pick the suitable color for the background. Now take some time to try the lessons learned in previous chapter with different types of datasets.